The next lady that's coming up, Claire Kelly, she wants you to know she writes music that's all about being positive. She is glass is half full kind of girl, and that is what she does in her music. So give it up for Claire Kelly. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, my name is Claire Kelly, and the first song I'm going to play for you is a song called The Girl, the Polka Dotted Rain Boots. It was actually inspired by Polka Dotted Rain Boots. <laughs> Um, I've been writing lyrics for a long time. Like I can, I think I found, stumbled upon some notebooks where I was writing parodies to Avril Lavigne songs in fifth grade. Like that was where I started to kind of like observe song structure and really put lyrics together. And so I've been writing my own music for a long time, and I really think it's a, it's an awesome form of expression. It's a really cool way to tell stories, and yeah, just one of the happiest things that I do. And I really. I think it's a fun process to be able to um, like share these things with people, share different emotions and stories, and yeah. So I love songwriting. It's never the same process twice. I've written this song called "The Girl in the Polka Dot or Rain Boots," and it's kind of this bouncy, upbeat tune um, about an independent gal. And I really like playing that one for people because I think it makes them smile. So. So becoming involved in the Milwaukee music scene, I think I'm still doing that. I think it's like still a process because I definitely started my, you know, like mini career as a musician on Marquette's campus, like playing different events and um, playing for people here, playing open mics and talent shows and the annex so many times and that kind of thing. Um, so getting into the Milwaukee music scene is like still a process. I think I'm always reaching out and sometimes it's gigs on top of gigs, like you play one place and then you get like called for another. So um, it's just a matter of putting yourself out there and asking around and meeting other musicians and getting involved that way. So I think the, the open mic scene in Milwaukee has definitely like been a good window to that. There's a lot of fun open mics around here that encourage musicians and like are a good community of musicians. So that's been a cool way to get involved. Knowing where you're at with the crowd. It's like some shows you are a little bit background music and some shows you're kind of up front and center. And so I think like learning how to handle both scenarios, learning how to best play to a crowd is probably one of the hardest parts. But I really do love performing. And it's like since I love to sing and perform and songwrite when I'm up there on a stage or when I'm up there at an open mic, it's the best thing in the world to me, so it doesn't feel hard ever. That part's always come pretty naturally to me. So. I've been recording music for a long time. When I was in high school, I did a lot of babysitting on the side, and some of the girls that I babysat were, I was playing, we were like, you know, playing games at their house one time, and I asked them why we never played in their basement. and. They were like, oh, my dad's recording studio is down there. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. I like to write songs and I would love to record them. So pretty soon I was working with their dad and like change, or exchanging babysitting hours for recording time, which was really fun. And so, I mean, that's like a, I think that's a blessing and a curse that I started recording so early because I listened to like my 16 year old self singing songs and it's like a very different experience than what I'm writing now. But it's really cool to see that progress, I think, as far as my songwriting grows and evolves and stuff like that. So Moments to Save was an EP that came out last summer and I got to release that at my first Summerfest show, which was exciting. And I'm more recently recording a, an EP that I just started actually this past weekend. So this one's called Matches and it's coming out this summer. And it's, I'm actually working with some musicians right now to kind of um, increase my sound and just add some different instrumentation and all of that. But it's a cool process. I think the recording side of things and the performing side of things are so different, but they're both really beautiful forms of art any way you slice it. So. Ultimately, I think I would really like to be a songwriter. I would love to be 
behind the scenes, like in Nashville one day, like writing music with other people, like co-writing for Big Stars, and just being able to continue my love of creating music and like having that continue as I grow. So that's the ultimate goal. I love performing and I think it's a great way to um, promote myself as a songwriter and as a singer kind of simultaneously, but ultimately I'd love to be songwriting for other people too.